Today I want to talk about reactivity on the walk. That includes if your dog lunges or barks or growls at other dogs while on the walk. If so, we need to disrupt that behavior. You can use a pet convincer. This is just compressed air and you would spray it at your dog's shoulder in order to disrupt the behavior. The point is, in order to be successful with reactivity, we need to address that change in a dog's state of mind before they explode and before they growl and bark and start lunging while you're on the walk. Look for cues like when your dog slows down or speeds up or their ears are perked up or their forehead's wrinkled. Address that change in state of mind. So address the fuse, don't wait until the explosion. But keep in mind your dog has a threshold. They have a threshold of what they can tolerate before the explosion. Build your obedience and build trust below threshold. Once you teach your dog to heal, heal means heal, but we still need to be respectful of the fact that our dog may feel uncomfortable. If that's the case, use space to your advantage and walk around the other dog in a bubble. Kind of take the, the wide route around the other dog. The one thing that is rarely successful is when a handler puts their dog in a sit and then waits for the other dog to pass them. You're putting your dog in a high pressure situation and asking for a long duration sit and early on in training, that's rarely successful. So instead, use your dog's energy and momentum to keep them moving and take the wide route around the trigger, around that other dog. We're teaching our dog that there are other options and the other options are to remain calm and confident in that heel position, but still be respectful of space in order to keep your dog under threshold. If your dog does go over threshold, address and disrupt the behavior, but learn from that experience and look for the cues, for the body language cues, in order to help your dog cope and make better decisions moving forward in the future. We need them to mentally and physically make better choices. All right, guys, that's all for now. Have an incredible day. Bye.